Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the entrance of your bride? Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're gathered in this beautiful setting to celebrate the marriage of Carl and Caroline and by far the most important wedding celebration of this long bank holiday weekend. 
On behalf of both of them, I'd like to warmly thank you for all coming and hope you enjoy your day ahead. Today's short ceremony is slightly unconventional in that it's neither religious or legally binding. And despite my smart attire, I'm neither a vicar or registrar, but a friend of Carl and Caroline's. Today's more of a celebration of the love, devotion and respect that Carl and Caroline share for each other. By their commitment to marriage, they were saying yes to love, yes to caring and yes to family. To start today's proceedings, I'm going to read a few short words about marriage. Marriage is a sacred agreement to love and support each other to the best of our ability and to use the relationship as a means for changing and healing our individual barriers to love. Marriage requires that both people in the relationship work to help each other learn, grow and prosper. Marriage teaches us to be more responsible for what we think and feel, say and do, and the level of awareness and willingness each person brings goes a long way towards making the relationship work. It's about learning to become less self-centred in ways that we could never have seen before. And mostly, it's about looking at the bigger picture, realising that arguments and conflicts pale into insignificance compared to the deep and true love we discover as we move through life and face its challenges together as husband and wife. I'm now going to call upon Lizzie, Caroline's sister, who's going to read us a poem. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses, encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener and critic. And there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing and the love of the other may resemble that of a caring parent or a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life new experiences, new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and takes a lifeline, lifetime to fulfil. Thank you, Lizzie. And that brings us towards the end of today's ceremony. Carl and Caroline, may your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should. And may life grant you patience, tolerance and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all the important ways and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say, I love you, and take no notice of the small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have the good sense to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery that is the awareness of one another's presence, no more physical than spiritual. 
May you be warm and near when you're side by side, and warm and near when you are far apart, or even in distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it in making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it in loving one another. Carl, you may kiss your bride again. <laughs> Oh, no.